Good morning technology students. Today we're going to be looking at how to use Audacity to create a multi-track recording. Remember to plug in your microphone before you've turned on Audacity, opened up Audacity. As you can see right here, Audacity has caught my microphone, so we're ready to go. The very first thing you need to do is to generate a click track. Now I've been messing around with this for a few years and there's many different ways to do it, but I find it's best to do the click track to help you stay aligned so that you're not listening to the tracks that you record as you're recording because it tends to cause phasing and distortion in the tracks. So we're going to go ahead and click um, generate the click track. And here you can see my tempo for the hymn that I've selected is 80, two big beats per measure. And you just want to have enough measures to get through recording it. I've put in 25. You can put in whatever you need, um, but I would leave you some extra measures so that you have a few measures to kind of get set up on your instrument. So there's our click track. And you can click on it to hear it. And you can see right there, because I'm doing a screencast-o-matic and I was recording, I couldn't do both at the same time. But you can see right there in the bar that it's nice and loud. So we're ready to record our first track, or basically the first part of the hymn that you want to record. I'm starting with the soprano part. So as you can see, though you can't hear it, as I'm recording this, I see that my gain's a little bit low. I've been uh, messing around with the gain in my office on my new Zoom Q2N. So it's a little low, but that's okay because after all the tracks are in, you can adjust the individual volume of the tracks to change um, your balance. It's a very, very simple thing to do. So go ahead, you can listen back, and again, you can always mute whichever tracks you don't want to hear, and of course, unmute any tracks that you do want to hear. So I've gone ahead and I have muted the track I already recorded so that it won't phase out with the new track that I'm currently recording. You can see that I went ahead and adjusted the gain on my microphone because I'm using the Q2N. I cannot adjust that gain in Audacity. I have to do it on the microphone. So that's done, and you can unmute these the first track and mute the click track and listen back. Okay, so we're ready to record again, which means time to mute both recorded tracks. Make sure your click track is going and record. Oh, I made a mistake. We started too far in, so I'm going to just regenerate that track. And now I'm ready to record again.
And now the final track recording. So for me, this is the bass line. And I actually held over on that track a little bit far, but I'll show you how to fix that. So now we've got all of our tracks. You can uh, go up and delete the click track and unmute all of your tracks so you can listen back to them all together. So I'm unmuting here. I'm going to delete my click track because we don't need that anymore. Okay, we've got all of our tracks. And as I listen back, I'm going to hear, of course, that my first track, my soprano track, is not well balanced because I really went for it with my bass track. So I'm going to adjust that by just changing the um, volume on that first track. I'm still a little dissatisfied, so I'm going to bump that volume up just a little bit more so I really get a prominence of sound in my soprano track. Now, I've also noticed that I really hung over on that last note on the bass line, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of delete out a, a, a moment, a second or two of this, so that it cuts off better with the rest of the tracks. It might actually sound funny in the individual track, but with the other three tracks, it, it will be unnoticeable. At this point, I'm much happier with the balance of the four tracks. I am noticing in the meter that I'm getting to the red, but as I listen to it on my speakers, I'm not hearing any distortion. So I'm probably just going to leave it alone. Um, I could go in to um, the effects and level them or normalize them, but for our purposes, it's, it sounds fine, so I'm probably just going to leave it. Now I want to edit down these tracks. But if I edit just one at a time, um, I run the risk of them becoming unsynchronized. So you have to try and find a way to resolve this so that when we edit one track, we end up editing all of them so that we keep them lined up perfectly. And this is a very easy fix on Audacity. We're just going to click and basically lock these tracks together so that when I edit out the excess time, it's going to delete it from all the tracks. And then the same thing at the end. I'm cleaning off all the tracks at the end. And we're good to go. It's all set. We've got a nice quartet of bassoons playing Godspeed the Right. And so you can listen back and you're very pleased with that. Again, I still see the meter. It's getting into the red a little bit, but I'm not hearing any distortion in my speakers. So I'm tempted just to leave it alone um, at this point and just kind of finish out the project. I can turn the playback down a little bit, but even that's not going to have a huge effect on um, 